Okay, before we start the video you guys probably will think that I suck at history when Caillou is cheating on this test. The reason I made Mrs. Martin say that Alaska became a US state in 1959 was, because I was too lazy to read the whole history, I just picked up the quickest information I found. So I ask you guys to please not to say anything about why I made Mrs. Martin say that Alaska became a US state in 1959. Also this video contains bad words, adult humor and situations. So this is not for younger children. Now I have warned you all. Anyway let's start. Okay class, so for the last day of school all of you need to do a real challenging test. This test is going to repeat everything we have learned from this year. For all of you who have already good grades you don't need more than over 25% points. But from all of you who have bad grades need to have over 50% points. And for those who have really really bad grades must have 100% points, otherwise you will have to do summer school or repeat the 5th grade again next year. So you better not laze around and start working your butts off if you want to graduate. Anyway that is all for today. You may go home now and start studying for the coming exam. Except you Caillou, I want to have a word with you right now. What is it? You better speak fast because I need to get home as soon as possible. To do what? Playing video games and being toxic to others on online all day? Watching Netflix? Yes I know you too well Caillou. Anyway you have the worst grades in this class, even in this school. You have like F's on every subject. So you need over 100% points on your exam if you want to graduate, not even an A- minus will cover that. What? How on earth did I get F's on every subject? I have always turned in my assignments on time and listened to you perfectly. And I work my ass off every day by studying. Do you have dementia? You have literally done none of those things. All you do here is sleeping in every class, daydreaming, causing trouble and keep getting suspended all the time. This is why you get bad grades, every time you get suspended you need to do some work at home but you don't even do that. And every assignments from you is nothing but drawings from battlefields, game companies, your own face, different countries coat of arms, different kinds of swords and even a drawing of your dad shooting bald people with a minigun. These are just inappropriate drawings to the assignments we give you. Now if you don't want summer school or repeat 5th grade again next year you better get an A+, so go home right now and start working your ass off. I have already shared with you all a link to your school accounts with the questions and answers for the upcoming exam. This is bullshit. I can't believe I need to answer every questions correct to get my summer break. I already hate school so much and now she is making me do school while everyone will be on break? Hell no. And there is no way I am repeating 5th grade again next year. I will not be the only one in class who is like 1 year older than them. I guess I have no choice but to work my ass off for this shitty exam. You've. Got. To. We. Shitting. Me. This has over 300 questions, they aren't even easy. How the hell am I supposed to know how atomic fission happens, or how triggered the first world war? Only people in college knows the answers of this questions, not even people in the 8th grade would know the answers. Dad what do you want? Can't you see I'm studying right now? You're more complaining than studying. Anyway, I got a text on my email from your teacher informing me about this upcoming exam for the next two weeks. I just came here to warn you that if you fail this test and either has to do summer school or repeat 5th grade again next year you will be grounded for a whole year and they will take away your electronics and they will prevent you from leaving your room for a whole year. I will only let you out when you have to go to school, but otherwise I will never let you out. And they will only feed you fish with Diet Coke, and you will also be forced to watch 8 hours long foreign language politics until your grounded time is over. Holy shit please don't do that to me. There is no way I can take that. Well then you better not laze around and start working your ass off if you don't want to be grounded. Start studying. This is so not fair. Now not only is my summer ruined but a whole year for me is too. I guess I have no choice but to read through the answers and try to memorize them. Ugh, it's only been like 20 minutes, but it feels like 5 billion years has already passed. Why does school work have to be so boring? 
it's no wonder why people fail at school and has to work at crappy minimum wage jobs. If they would have made this way more fun everybody would be like investment bankers, business managers, military leaders and even mayors, prime ministers or presidents. You know what, I'm going to play a few games to relax and then go back to studying. What the fuck is the matter with you? Why did you yell that loud? Because today is the last day of school, and today you have your really really important test. There is no way that you are going to miss it. What? It's today? Yes it's today. Did you forget? You better not have forgot to study because if you fail this test you know what is coming for you. I'm giving you 20 minutes to get ready. If you are not down in 20 minutes I'll take all your savings and spend it on beer. Now hurry up and get ready. Oh no, now I'm dead meat. There is no way I can pass this test, I didn't study at all. I won't even get 10% points or 1% point on the test at all. What should I do to save my summer break? Hey wait a second. I know what I can do. I will write down all of the answers on both of my hands, and when the test comes I will look at one of my hands to see the correct answers to the questions and write them down. And when I can't find the answer on my hand to the question, I'll check the other one. But I got to be careful to not get caught, if I look at my hands or switch them too often I will probably get caught, I need to switch and look at one of them when Mrs. Martin is not looking. My summer break is saved. Ha 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 Dang it, I forgot that it has over 300 questions. There is no way I can write all of them on my hands, not even anyone will be on my hands. What am I supposed to do now? Wait a second. I remembered that Pior taught me how to cheat with my phone without the teacher noticing. You take a very strong double-sided tape and put it on the edge of your desk and put your phone on it. This way you can check the answers for exams without the teacher noticing. I guess I will try that instead, let me just take a picture of the answers. Now let's grab double sided tape. We don't have it here but I will buy some at the store when dad drops me off at school. There you are you little miserable ball brat, if you didn't come down within 20 minutes I would have even dragged you to school without breakfast. Now hurry up and go and eat your breakfast at once. Okay chill down yo. Don't stress me like that. Now get in the car at once. Now listen here Baldi, I forgot to say this before. If you even dare cheat on this exam I will ground you even worse. It is so bad you don't even want to know what it is. Now get your butt in that school building at once and pass this exam, and remember what I told you. Okay just calm down man. I wonder what on earth is that old man's problem, can't he just be nice to me for once? But anyway let's go and buy the tape at once. Good thing I am the first in class otherwise the tape would make a lot of noise and expose myself. Let's put on the tape and wait until the exam begins. Whoa Caillou. How come you are like the first one to be in class? Just sit down and I will explain it to you. Okay then. So Caillou, how come you are the first one to be in class? This is seriously nothing like you. You are mostly the last one to attend class, or almost never coming at all. I'm doing one of your old tricks you did back in St. Petersburg, just look down on the edge of the desk. You are doing the tape with the phone? Yup, I thought I could test this since I didn't study at all. And if you didn't study at all as well I can share you the answers if you would like. Thank you Caillou but I'm afraid I can't do that. My papa wants me to pass this here in this school. And if he hears that I either has to do summer school or repeat 5th grade again next year he will make me spend I don't know how long on top of Mount Everest without extra oxygen or warm clothes. So I had no choice but to study 2 whole weeks for this exam. Whoa, he is like my dad but sounds even worse. Yeah, 
What is even worse is that you don't seem to get used to it even though you have to deal with him your entire life. Anyway I think we should shut up now because here comes Mrs. Martin. Okay class, welcome to the last day of school and today is the day we have our really really important exam. If you can't remember how many points you need to pass it, I'll repeat it for you. Those who have good grades do not need more than 25% points to pass but for those who have bad grades need over 50% points to pass. And for those who have really really or the worst grades need to have 100% points, if you don't want summer school or repeat 5th grade again next year. Okay that is everything I will say. I will now pause out the test papers for everyone. Oh I almost forgot. Anyone who tries to cheat during the exam will fail faster than saying candy woho and melted your cousin Jagger Eagle or Big Shark. And you Caillou, you better have studied harder than the biggest nerd here in this school, so I don't need to see your ugly bald egg looking vulture head in summer school. Here is your test paper by the way. Whatever, can you just let me do the rest in peace and quiet please? Sure. Okay, now I have passed out the test papers, so you better start working on the test right now. Let's get started. Okay, first question. What triggered the First World War? It says here that it was in Serbian man named Gavrila Princip who shot the Austria-Hungary crown prince that caused the First World War. Let's circle that in. Second question, where did the Swedish King Gustavus Adolphus die? It says here that he died in the Battle of Lutzen. Let's circle that in as well. Third question, how did Alaska become a U.S. state? It says here that the U.S. purchased Alaska from the Russian Empire on March 30, 1867 for $7.2 million. Let's circle that in. Fifth question, who was the first Tsar in the Russian Empire? It says here that it was Tsar Peter the Great. Let's also circle that in. Okay, question number 310, it looks like it's the last one. Who tried to conquer the world and where was he from? It says here that it was Genghis Khan and that he was from Mongolia. Let's circle the last one in and then my summer break is finally saved from those two lunatics. What was that? No one better not use their phones during the exam. Whoa Caillou, did you forget to turn off the volume? Uh oh, it looks like it. Caillou idiot. I taught you that you need to always turn off your volume when you do this. You never know when the notifications pops up or when you get a message. If Mrs. Martin knows that it came from your phone you are Mert Voimyaso. Hey I forgot, I was too focused on this that I clearly forgot to turn off the volume. That is still no excuse for leaving your volume on. If the teachers will find out of one of your tactics they will probably spy on you way more often than the rest of us, to prevent you from doing it again. And now look who is standing right in front of us. Wait what? Caillou Anderson, that sound came from here. Are you using your phone during my exam? Uh oh, no. Well give it to me. I still don't trust you with it. Why do you want my phone? There is no way I'm giving it to you. Yes you are. Give it to me now. No. Give it to me. No. Yes, give it to me. No, I don't want to. Give it to me now or I will give you 8 hours long detention tonight. If you even dare touch my phone I will kick your face. That's it. I will take your phone by force. Try me bitch. You give it to me now. Okay 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 here it is. What the heck? This picture have all the answers for the questions. Caillou, did you cheat on the test? Uh oh, yes I did. Pure taught me how to cheat without teachers noticing. He taught me that all I need is a very strong double-sided tape and then you put it on the edge of your desk and then put your phone on it. What the hell is the matter with you Caillou? Why the fuck are you snitching on me? You have no idea what Mrs. Martin is like when she's in rage mode. Caillou now I will also be Mert Voimyaso because of you. Damn right you two are going to be Mert Voimyaso at this point on. Whoa 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 Caillou how dare you cheat on this exam? This was clearly disrespectful of you, 
We teachers work our butts off every day just to help you kids with your brains but no, all you do is being rude and cause trouble everywhere you go, smoking weed and partying. There is no wonder why this society is failing. In my time we kids had no choice if we wanted to become something good in our future, but today kids only wants to become gamers or YouTubers. They don't even want to play sports anymore. That's it, get your bald ass immediately to the principal's office now, you're getting an F- on this exam, and you better make your decision fast if you either want summer school or repeat 5th grade again next year. And get your ass also to the principal's office now, Pjort. Hey, what did I do wrong? You taught Caillou how to cheat this way, didn't you? So this means you will also get an F- on your exam, and it also means you either have to take summer school or repeat 5th grade again next year. Now get your Russian ass immediately to the principal's office now. Bolshoi spazibo Caillou. Dang it, Caillou. What did you do now? And Pjort, what are you doing in here? I'm also in trouble. What did you do? It hasn't even been a year since you joined our school and I thought that you were going to behave after you got expelled from your previous school in St. Petersburg. It's kind of best that I start. I didn't study at all on this exam, so I took a picture on the answers for the questions. And then I bought a very strong double-sided tape and then put it on the edge on my desk and then put my phone on it so I could check the answers for the questions, but I forgot to turn off the volume and when a notification popped up I was exposed. Caillou are you kidding with me right now? How dare you cheat on this exam, if you keep your things like that you will probably ruin your entire future. And Pjort, did you cheat as well? No, but I taught Caillou how to cheat like that, and now I wish I didn't. Dang right you shouldn't have done that, and how dare you help him like that. If you keep doing things like this I will probably have to expel you, I can't let someone go around and help other students cheat on their exams like that. That's it, you two don't deserve to pass this exam. And for the next two weeks you two have to either choose if you rather want to take the summer classes or repeat fifth grade again next year. Now get out of my school while I'm calling to both of your dads. Great fucking job Caillou, now we are sure going to be butchered because of you. Just because of your shitty memory. Hey I'm sorry, I just forgot. It's not my fault. Yes it is your fault, if you would have just remembered to turn off your volume our summer break could have been saved. But no. Now I'm sure as hell going to be Murtvi when I come home, and all thanks to you. I shouldn't have taught you one of my tactics. Now I'm going home to face the music. I guess I will also go home and face the music. Here goes nothing. Hello. Looks like no one is home. Wait is that dad who is coming? Rawr. You little alien avocado pineapple egghead looking ostrich vulture baldy from Baldi's Basics Kentucky Fried Chicken Subway Rockstar Games Ultimate Fighting Championships Boss Dana Frederick White Jr. The Rocks looking retarded wimp twin brother You suck you little bald miserable moron what the hell is the matter with you? How dare you cheat on your test like that? You think you can cheat and get away with it? Why on earth didn't you study instead? Ugh because it's boring as crap and what is the living matter with you? You drove like a maniac and ripped up almost your entire clothes and beating your chest like a mentally unstable dinosaur gorilla who just had kids. And where on earth did you get that dinosaur head from? Don't you call me a mentally unstable dinosaur gorilla who just had kids and they used like plotagon logic to get this head. But it doesn't matter at this point on. I have every reason to go bloodthirsty right now Every time you go to school I can't even type a single keyboard at work without getting a complaint from school about you on my phone. And that time with the presentation was the worst complaint I have ever had in my entire life as a father. How many times do you have to make me mad, angry or pissed off? How many times? That's it, you're grounded 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 for a whole year. This means I will take away your electronics and instead of locking you in your room I will lock you somewhere else instead. Come with me right now. I know I will definitely hate this one. Look down, you are going to sleep there instead of your room. No please no, not the sewers. 
anything but the sewers. Yes, the sewers. You are going to spend down there for a whole year. That is your punishment for cheating on your test. I will come here every 9 a.m., 1 p.m. and 8 p.m. to give you raw fish and diet cook. And at least be happy that the sewers are long as the Nile River, so you can wander around all day every day. But it will be your own fault if you can't find your way back and find your food that I will be leaving for you. Have fun down there until next year. This is the worst summer break I ever had. Wah! Are you freaking kidding with me right now? You didn't even cheat. You just had to help someone else cheat instead. Are you trying to ruin other kids' future? Just because you are messing up with your future doesn't mean you can go around and mess up someone else's. Hey, I was actually doing good this time. I have studied for like a slave for two whole weeks for this exam. I didn't need to cheat. But you still taught him how to cheat. You know when you got expelled from your previous school in St. Petersburg, I thought that you were going to stop being a troublemaker but no. You are still that annoying twat in St. Petersburg. That's it. You are grounded 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 for 9 months. This means that you will spend your grounded time in summer break on top of Mount Everest without extra oxygen or warm clothes. And up there you will eat ice cream and drink slush, which will freeze you even more. I'm going to deport you there now, so get your ass immediately in my car so I can drive you to the airport. This is so unfair. Wah!